Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Lucy Dreaming. We are in the library, Satan's library, because we've got these Bibliotech 9000 things made by Satan. Um, yeah, we're going to put our it's a photo stolen ID for Figgington Public library. library card Plum. that deceased. belongs, yep, deceased, Mr. Edmund Plum. We're going to put that into here, see what happens. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay. All good. Right. What book are we going to get? Ah. Uh, okay. Poems for ill-fated lovers is the only thing we can get. So that's the book that the librarian was reading, right? So let's pick it up. Okay. Poems for ill-fated lovers by Edmund Plum. There's a message written inside. I board the train of regret at a time I will never forget. I hope you remember likewise when you see the world through my eyes. Graham's monkey will keep our little secret. E.P. Graham's monkey? What on earth? Poems for ill-fated Graham's monkey. Hmm, okay, revised edition, a collection of romance. What, what's this? Just the stamp from the... The library. Graham's monkey. I've just noticed there's a pentagram on the floor here. I don't know if that was there the whole time. <laughs> Maybe it was. Maybe we can ask her about... It's Miss Hambleton. Hambleton, yeah. She's worked here for over a thousand years. Has she? That's a long time. <laughs> um, Hello, Miss Hambleton. Shh. Do we know... Ah, do you know a Graham who may or may not have had a monkey? Do you know a Graham? Who may or may not have had a monkey. <laughs> oh. You must be referring to Saint Graham. He was the patron saint of Moon Logic. <laughs> Moon Logic. There are so many obscure happenings in the local area. They named the village church after him. Thanks, I'll check it out. Huh, I'll okay. add the church to my map. Ah. Who are you talking to? <laughs> no one. No one. We'll be quiet then. Okay, uh, so, the church. Bye. <clears throat> Shh. Perhaps the church will help us out with something that we can do for this facial recognition. So maybe we head there now. St. Graham's Church. We're getting loads of locations all of a sudden. Ooh, check this place out. St. Graham's Church is on that hill. Right, so St. Graham's... Hey, look at all these tits. A gang of tits. <laughs> it's full of birds disturbing the peace. It's ne never not funny, is it, the name of those birds? Um, so the church is up here. We've got the path to the church. A photographer taking pictures of the birds. He's a bird watcher. A barrier. Fate under construction. Ah. Later. Fainton so, Village Fate Committee. So Goosey Wallop's here. I'm looking forward to playing Goosey Wallop. I know a little bit about I'm not that. Not allowed to go any further. They're still setting everything up. Uh, Looks like they've managed to get the rain successfully yeah. installed. Though. I was, was going to say, is that rain very specifically falling above the fate? Because <laughs> it always rains at Village Fates, doesn't it? That's. I wonder if we can take his camera. What are you doing? What are you doing? Gathering evidence. Uh, evidence of what exactly? Evidence of what? I'm gonna catch the thieving blighters in the act. Right. Thieves? That's right. You name it, they've nicked it. Have they now? Uh, <laughs> Thunder? Thunder. Don't be an idiot. The thieves okay. I'm after are tits. Right, tits. Tits. They lie in wait in this tree, then swoop down on unsuspecting parishioners and plunder anything they can lay their thieving little beaks on. Jewelry, keys, money. Do they? They swipe anything metal and shiny if it's not strapped down. Then they leave it all up on the church roof. Do they? The tits are leaving stuff on the church roof. The tits are leaving stuff on the church roof. Yep, there's probably a ton of ill-gotten gains up there. Ooh, that sounds like some stuff that we might want. Can I borrow your camera? Please, may I borrow your camera? No way. This is the only way I'll catch them in the act. I've been petitioning okay. the parish council to have the tits exterminated. Oh, come on. But they won't unless they have hard evidence. I'll catch the little blighters. Well, I don't think we want to help you do that, actually. That's an unusual hat. That's an unusual hat. My pride and joy. It's made out of tits. Oh, Jesus, okay. Your hat is made out of tits. Your hat is made out of tits. One of this country's most prolific birds. 
I can't stand them, but the fellas do make good headwear. I think you'd get on well with my Yeah, brother. I was thinking that. You really love that hat, don't you? You really love that hat, don't you? Almost as much as I hate tits. <laughs> they stole my last one. Because I was foolhardy enough to put a shiny hat pin in it. Oh. I had to drop what I was doing and chase them. But they took it up on the roof. And I never got it back. Oh. I'm not making that mistake again. Ah, uh, so maybe we need to put something shiny on his hat. Bye. Goodbye. Maybe that way we can get hold of his camera then. Um, I mean, all we have that's shiny really is this trowel, so... Uh, can we... I don't need to dig that. Okay, we don't need to dig that. I didn't think we did. A um, lot of tit talk in this episode so far. It's got to be said. Crocuses. Funnily enough... Purple flowers with bright yellow stamens. It is actually crocus season right now in the UK. There's loads of them. I don't need any flowers. They're, they're lovely. Is that a monkey puzzle tree? spiky. I wonder what species it is. Monkey puzzle, maybe? I don't know. There's a village fate today, apparently. Oh, yeah, there is. It's not ready yet, though. Um, just make sure there's nothing we've missed here. All right, well, let's go into the church. Hey, look at this. Lots of hymn books. Do we want a hymn book? We might do. Trust me. You don't want to hear me sing. Oh, well, now I do. The windows of our church depict the legend of St. Graham, as told by the 16th century poet Ernest Danglebury. <laughs> Doesn't get more British a name than that, does it? Nothing says help the needy like a literal gold platter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> no, it belongs to God or something. Oh, does it? Okay. There's some pews. Ah, another hymn book here. Pew, pew, pew! Pew, pew, pew! <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to hear me sing. No, alright, well. Just for those who don't know, these things are hugely, hugely uncomfortable. Like, like, numb your bottom uncomfortable. Uh, Parishioner. She looks ancient. She does. Can we talk to her at all? Hello there. Hello there. What? <laughs> Whenever I see hello there, it just reminds me of the Obi-Wan meme. I, I said hello there. What? What? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Stop mumbling. <coughs> I said, can you hear me? There's no need to shout. Oh, if that isn't I accurate. I coming. Yeah. Hang on, I'll turn my hearing aid up. Go on then. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I come to listen to the bells. Ah, oh, that's nice. They're so quiet, I can only hear them if I sit right here at the front. Yeah. I'm sure they used to be louder. Yeah, they probably did. Where's the vicar? Where's the vicar? He's down at the village fate. Oh. Probably in the WI tent waiting for Paula Holyrood. <laughs> Who's Paula Holyrood? Who's Paula Holyrood? She's some kind of bacon celebrity. Yeah, sounds familiar. She goes on TV and tells other people how rubbish their macarons are. So we're getting a, a great British Bake Off thing going on here. Why is the vicar interested in Paula Holyrood? Why is the vicar interested in Paula Holyrood? Something to do with the WI's jam competition. Yeah. Plus she has other assets. Oh god. <laughs> Do we want to know about the assets? Maybe we do. Do you want me to ring the bells for you? Do you want me to ring the bells for you? Oh, that would be lovely. But only if you know the correct order. Ah. I I'm don't like change. I'm not sure also, we do. Also, don't overuse the large one. All right. It's only quiet, but it makes the old church shake. Last ah. time somebody rang it, a gargoyle fell off the roof and almost hit the vicar. So the large bell might make all the things fall off the roof that the, the tits have apparently stolen. Do you know what order to ring the bells in? Sorry, no. Oh. All I know is they tell the story of St. Graham. Right. And his unnecessary demise in the Sierra Mountains. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we need to know the story of St. Graham. Do you know anything about a monkey? Do you know anything about a monkey? Don't be absurd. Unless, of course, you mean the monkey puzzle tree outside. Yes, yeah. it is a monkey puzzle. I that thought so. That sounds like just the kind of vague and ambiguous hint I was after. Yep. Thanks. All right, so what? it could be to do with the tree. Thanks. You're welcome. Uh, okay, have you heard about the tits? Have you heard about the tits? Did Brian put them into this? <laughs> he's bloody obsessed with them. <laughs> Though, if he's right, there's probably tons of valuable stuff up on the church roof. 
Shame there's no way to get it down. The roof's completely inaccessible. Yeah, so the bell's going to be the way, isn't it? There's valuable, valuable stuff on the church roof. There's valuable stuff up on the church roof. That's my guess. But like I said, the roof's completely inaccessible. Okay. Presumably designed by the same plank who made the church bell <laughs> three sizes too big. <laughs> Alright, so now that I'm thinking about it, the bread or baking thing could be to do with the, the Paula Holyrood thing, right? Do you know anything about bread or baking? What? Because I'm an old woman, I obviously know how to bake. I mean, maybe. Well, do you know how yeah. to bake? <laughs> do you? Of course I do. But I'm an appalling teacher. Ah. You're better off finding a good recipe book instead. Ah, okay, we might do that. Bye. Bye. Ta-ta! So... Making vicars taller since the 9th century. <laughs> Anything through here? Oh, yeah, there is. All right, so there's a brown... R oh, what's this tag? St. Graham's Big Bell. Please only ring at end of sequence. Right. All the use may cause damage to church roof. All right, well, let, let's use that, right? According to the tag, this one should only be rung right at the end of the sequence. Ah, uh, so perhaps we need to know the entire sequence. According to the tag, this one should only be rung right at the end of the sequence. Okay, so can we use I the others? probably learn the correct tune first. Yeah, so we're going to have to know the tune. Um, didn't it say something about the windows being... Pew, pew, pew! Pew, pew, pew! Okay, let's look it at the windows. It shows a blue moon shining on a load of red poppies in a yellow desert. Blue, red, yellow, maybe? What colours have we got? We have got blue, red, and yellow. So maybe it's the colours in the in the things. It shows two white snowy mountains being lit by yellow sun rays. So blue, red, yellow, white, white, and then this one's going to be... It shows a blue dragon breathing red fire on a load of brown earth. Okay, that's got to be the order, right? The windows of our church depict the legend of St. Graham, as told by the 16th century poet Ernest Danglebury. So it's, it's got to be that. It's, that's got to be the order. I just want to go out and check this tree, because this is the Graham it's thing, purple right? purple flowers with bright yellow stamens. Okay. So this is the monkey mentioned in the book. Someone's carved their initials onto it. Ah. J.H. loves E.P. J.H. loves E.P. So this is the monkey mentioned in the book. Someone's carved their initials onto it. J.H. loves E.P. So that's going to be... a little patch of bare earth next to it. Ah, patch of earth. Look it's at that. It's under the tree. Let's dig that. So J.H. is going to be the librarian, right? And then E.P. is Edmund Plum. Okay, let's see what secrets you're keeping. I hope the trousers don't fall down. <laughs> Dig, dig, dig. An old Ooh. biscuit tin with a photograph inside. Ah. It's a black and white photograph of a young couple. <laughs> they both look a bit familiar. They do. But their eyes have been cut out. Creepy. Ah, I see. This is the rest of the stamp. So we're going to have to combine this with the book. I'll put it inside the book to keep it safe. And then it's going to, it's going to like be a code thing, right? If I line up the library stamp. The numbers in their eyes read 10 15. Nice! Maybe that's the time his train was due to leave. It was obviously important to him. Points for effort, though. I guess their love affair was a secret at the time. So, 1015 is going to be his pin code. Remember the librarian said in the last episode about we're going to need to have a library card, a pin code, and facial recognition. This is going to be the pin code, so we just need the facial recognition thing now. Excellent. So, what I think we're going to do is write down all of these, um, all of these things here. So let me grab a pen. So it shows a blue moon shining on a load of red poppies in a yellow desert. Blue, red, yellow. This one is. It shows two white snowy mountains being lit by yellow sun rays. Okay, two whites and a yellow, and then this one. It shows a blue dragon breathing red fire on a load of brown earth. Okay, blue, red, brown. So that could be the entire sequence, but I wonder if there's maybe a window outside anywhere that we can look at. 
Hmm, maybe not. Okay then, well, I tell you what guys, we are just about out of time for this episode, so we'll try and do this sequence in the next one, I think. Uh, give it a go. I don't know if we'll be able to pull the ropes yet, but that feels like it should be the story, unless there's something else we don't know to it, which is possible. Maybe we've got to get this book here. The windows of our church depict the legend of St Graham as told by the 16th century poet Ernest Danglebury. Yeah, so perhaps we're going to need to get that book out of the library as well and, and, and actually see the full poem or something, I don't know. But we'll do that next time. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo and Numinous for all the support on the channel. And I will see you next time. <laughs>